watching Conspiracy Blast with me, uh, Conspiracy Joel. Or as I like to call myself, uh, Reality Joel. I'm uh, going to talk to you today about a few more bullshit things uh, going on in the media. Now I know I talked a lot about uh, this media bullshit the last time. But uh, it's there's just too much of the bullshit for you to not uh, be aware. All week, uh, there's been shit going on, and uh, no one says nothing about it. You know, except for this morning. This morning, I heard uh, lots of people, oh, they were outraged uh, about all the, the crazy bullshit going on. That's right. Uh, I heard uh, the two people on the, the sports radio talking about uh, Tessa Virtue and uh, the other guys caught something. And they were... Uh, Ice dancers and they got stripped of the gold medal by uh, corruption and bullshit like that. The article said the Russian judges and the United States judges have cut a side deal. The end result, what they hope will happen is as follows. Russia wins the team event and this United States couple wins a gold in ice dancing. That's what the article alleged. The International Skating Union or whatever corrupt group of individuals runs that thing, whatever that's called, they quickly come out and go, no pad, no pad the boys. This is not true. We have made very big strides in judging since Salt Lake. And this is not true. Not, it happened. What the report said was going to happen just happened. United States won gold in ice dancing. Russia won gold in the team event. And these idiots are trying to run down our throats that this isn't the most corrupt thing I've seen since The Godfather Part 2. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, we can believe in corruption and conspiracy theories when it comes to your favorite uh, players or your favorite uh, performers, things like that. Yeah, you get all the outrage in the world. Yeah, everybody comes out with pitchforks when uh, their uh, favorite team uh, doesn't win and uh, when the, the guys don't get the gold medals. Yeah, when it comes to the great old-fashioned bullshit, yeah, you guys don't mind getting all upset about that, right? But when it comes to our reality, uh, you uh, don't say shit about it. Yeah, that's right, uh, nobody says nothing. I'll give you uh, an example of uh, what I'm uh, talking about. Uh, this shit all, all week we heard about uh, Hoffman, this guy. Uh, the, the actor, you know, that guy who... Uh, oh, the tragic story of a great actor who... Uh, did uh, heroin and uh, killed himself. Yeah, we should cry to him because he killed himself with heroin. Yeah, no, nothing against the guy, okay? It's just that, uh, you know, this is in the culture, in reality, people kill themselves all the time with heroin and other drugs and other bullshit. But this guy does it, he's a hero. But other people do it, they're junkies. That's right. It's a tragic story. Uh, he needed help, he did, yeah. And that's another thing about the media. They focus on this guy. And oh, they arrested the people. Yeah, they had to arrest the guys who sold them the drugs. But what about the people who supply the drugs? We don't, uh, we don't talk about that, do we? No, the mainstream media don't want to talk about that. That's right. They don't want to talk about the fact that uh, ever since uh, the, the, the war in Afghanistan, a supply of drugs has gone up uh, by uh, 61%. Uh, from Afghanistan to today, probably more now, but uh, look at up, something like that. So you got uh, these people there, you know, uh, with your family members, your friends, people you know who are supposed to be there, uh, you know, fighting terrorism. What are they doing? Yeah, they're uh, guarding uh, for the drug dealers. Uh, but the media don't want to talk about that. No, they don't want to focus on that. It's focus on the actor. Yeah, don't want to get outraged about the bankers. Don't want to get outraged by the uh, the, the raping of countries uh, by uh, banking systems and financial markets and the corporations and bullshit. No, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to get you mad. No, let's get angry because uh, the, the, the skaters, uh, they didn't win the gold. Uh, they got a silver medal. This is uh, outrageous. You know, it's about time, you know, that we put the right emphasis in the right syllable. You know, that type of thing. Corruption everywhere, but we only talk about it when it's, uh, you know, the, the guy who scored the goal or uh, somebody didn't get a medal. That's the only time we believe in corruption, you know. Uh, yeah, because that's the only time where we could believe in conspiracy theories, right? Every other time, there's no such thing. Uh, but when it comes to uh, 
people like, uh, you know, your celebrities, Millie Vanilli. Yeah, that didn't happen, right? No, that's not a conspiracy theory. Yeah, he didn't uh, fake that. Or uh, Lance Armstrong. Yeah, not that guy. Yeah, he didn't uh, do, do commit no conspiracy theory there. Now, nah, conspiracy theories are everywhere. The thing is, the whole bloody uh, system is corrupt. So we cannot believe one, but we can believe another. The thing is, as long as money is involved, there's corruption. And we're talking big money here. Who do you think is funding the war in Afghanistan? They don't got money in the States. They're broke. Who do you think they're getting the money from? Uh, they're getting the money from the drug dealers. So you come and be all outraged by this poor actor who, who, who killed himself with drugs or the, the, the ice dancers and that kind of bullshit. But we don't talk about the real things. Talk about the real things. This has been Reality Joe. You know about uh, reality? A reality is like a... Or conspiracy, Joe. For conspiracy blast. This world uh, needs an enema.